Hello, my name is Adam and I'm pre-sales consultant at Stormit. Stormit as an AWS advanced partner can help you make the most of what AWS Cloud has to offer. AWS provides you with a variety of services to connect your own premises infrastructure to the Amazon VPC, which also offers a route to creating a hybrid cloud. You can, for example, use AWS Site-to-Site -Site VPN or AWS Direct Connect. To do this, although both are useful options, you may find that one or both of them are more suitable for your business needs. We will today take a look at some advantages of both of them, if they are useful for you or not, it's on you basically. So at first we will look at AWS Direct Connect itself and AWS Site to Site VPN, what they do, what they are. And then we will take a look at key differences between them, then on some direct connect advantages over AWS VPN, but also on VPN advantages over AWS Direct Connect. And then we will take some comparison between them, like is it better to use Direct Connect or AWS VPN, but also on the use cases, because this is something what is specific for them. And also, how to use both of them to achieve what you need. When I will be talking about today about AWS VPN, it's I will be talking about site-to-site -site VPN because there is also other service. There is client VPN from AWS. It's different than site-to-site -site VPN. I will share some link below for you. You can check about AWS client VPN, but when you go to this video, you should definitely try to find site to site VPN, not the client VPN, but just to be sure that you understand this. AWS Direct Connect is a high speed, low latency connection that allows you to access public and private AWS cloud services from your local on premises infrastructure like your data center, etc. The connection itself is enabled by dedicated lines and bypasses the public internet. This is the main difference between Direct Connect and the site to site VPN. It will definitely take more time to create AWS Direct Connect. We at Stormit are focused on helping you with this, so we have definitely implemented this in the past, so we can help you achieve to create AWS Direct Connect connection. You will definitely need to, to contact ISP and do other stuff around. And AWS Site-to-Site -Side VPN is a managed IPsec VPN, so it's encrypted from default. And it will create a connection between Amazon VPC and your private IT infrastructure over the public internet. VPN connections allow you to extend existing infrastructures, policies to your VPC, but it function, functions both ways. Uh, to define it, uh, so if you have Amazon EC2 instance, normally when you're accessing it from the internet, like from your network, for example, you will need to use public IP address. But not every Amazon EC2 instance or also RDS instance doesn't have public IP because you don't want to be able to access it from the internet or other users to access it from the internet. You can use AWS Site to Site VPN to create this connection. Then you will be able to use from the on-premises side, you will be able to use private IP address of the Amazon EC2 instance, but also from the Amazon EC2 instance, you will be able to use a private IP inside your on-premises data center. So it will be secured and ready for you. AWS Site to Site VPN is Definitely easier to create than AWS Direct Connect. It's easier to use. When you create it, you will create two tunnels, so it's also high available for you. So what is the key difference between these two services? AWS Site to Site VPN can reach around one gigabytes per second. With AWS Direct Connect, you can reach 100 gigabytes per second. It will not be easy, but you are definitely able to do that. 
For AWS side to side VPN, you will use a public network, so the internet latency can fluctuate when you use AWS Direct Connect. It will, or you will create a dedicated line, so it should provide a consistent experience. It's better to test it out, but yeah, it should provide this. For AWS side to side VPN, the time to establish normally, I would say, it should take like one day of work or maybe a little bit more if it if there are some issues with the settings for aws direct connect i should say like around a couple of weeks because the communication will need to be between isp somebody between like the owner of the connection etc etc so it takes definitely a couple of weeks to create it the pricing, I would say the AWS side-to-side -side VPN normally should say, should uh, cost you like around $35 per month for both tunnels, for the connection, for everything. But for AWS Direct Connect, it will be definitely more, but it's difficult to say because the port hours fees varies based on regions and other stuff, so it's difficult to say. And the security? Yeah, AWS side-to-side -side VPN uses IPsec connection from default, so it's encrypted. AWS Direct Connect is not encrypted, but it's a dedicated line, so nobody should have access to it. So it, I should say it should be secure, but it's not 100%. I would say that it's definitely better to encrypt the connection too. And what are the advantages of using Direct Connect? Yeah, it, it's definitely about the high scalability connection up to 100 gigabytes per second. If you need this, you should definitely use direct right over VPN. And it's on the dedicated line. So if you need to lower your latency between AWS regions and your own premises, you will definitely need to use direct connect because it's something you should get when you create this dedicated line and it's from from the perspective it's more secure because it's dedicated line but as said before you should encrypt it too and yeah aws vpn connectivity isn't very scalable so you will get a maximum amount from the public internet what you use and what are the advantages of site to site vpn i think you should now understand what it is it's easier to use it's high available because using two tunnels but you have to set it up that way if you need to achieve this when using aws direct client it will be more difficult. Normally you would need to create two AWS Direct Connects to have high availability, but we will talk about this at the end of the video. And the deployment of the AWS side to side will take like a couple of days, so it's much more convenient for your usage. What about the differences or Direct Connect versus side to side VPN use cases? AWS Direct Connect is an excellent choice for somebody who needs ultra low latency and high bandwidth connection to AWS. I think that Direct Connect should be used at least for a couple of years to get you back the time you need to spend at the start. So it's definitely not good to use Direct Connect for one month because it will take a lot of time to set it up, etc. And side-to-side -side VPN, I would say this is a great option from AWS to get VPN, basically, because you will get a managed VPN. It's really easy to use when you create it. It will be secure. You will not need to mind the high availability and stuff around this. You will don't need to manage anything. You can get some logs from CloudWatch, etc. So you can definitely get everything around from AWS and yeah it's it's good to use it's I don't think that it costs a lot so it's definitely for somebody who seeks this type of connection between on-premises and AWS and what about both you can definitely use both of them you don't have to choose between them because you can 
Use AWS Direct Connect with AWS Site to Site VPN to achieve a very secure AWS Direct Connection. You can combine these two. Yeah, this is the solution, and it combines the advantages of both. So you will get a secure connection and the AWS super low latency. And you can also create a lower cost backup for AWS Direct Connect. You can have both, but not using them together, because normally you will use AWS Direct Connect, but when something goes wrong with this connection, this, is, this can be a fault on AWS side, somewhere in between on your ISP, etc., etc. Then you can have AWS side to side VPN already prepared for this, but the setup will not be easy because when the disaster comes, you should have some automatic way or manual way in place how to change the connection between AWS Direct Connect and side to side VPN. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos about AWS services, subscribe to our channel or watch some other videos. And if you want to learn more about other services, visit our website and blog. Links are in the description below. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us.